Hi, my name is Rachel Walling, and I'm a preservation planner with the City of Columbia's Planning and Development Services. Thank you for joining me as I talk through a brief history of the Oakwood Court Architectural Conservation District. So the area we know as Oakwood Court today was referred to in the past as Heathwood One for MC Heath, who owned most, if not all, the land that is now part of Oakwood Court. He owned that land in the late 1800s, and starting in 1910 to 1927, the land that is Oakwood Court was sold off parcel by parcel, majority of which was uh, bought by individuals between 1923 and 1927. Earliest development in this neighborhood was between 1917 and 1935, which built up uh, primarily along the uh, borders of the Epworth Children's Home, which is to the west of this neighborhood, and the streets that are known as Olive and Holly Streets today. Um, these earlier homes were largely um, simple, uh, four squares or small bungalows and cottages. In 1923, the land um, for Oakwood Court was split into seven blocks and 76 lots. Um, but while the, the land in the neighborhood was outside of the city limits at this time, it was already known as Oakwood Court and it did have established roads. In 1927, the neighborhood was brought into city limits and most construction was finished by 1940s. So the neighborhood largely resembled what you see today by the early 1940s. Jumping forward a bit in 2007, the neighborhood was locally designated as an architectural conservation district. And it should be noted that this particular neighborhood is bound um, by two very uh, commercial corridors to the Northeast being Millwood and to the South is Divine. Um, so while original um, houses for the neighborhood were built along those corridors, especially along Millwood Avenue. Um, many of those houses by the time uh, it was loca uh, locally designated as an architectural conservation district had been converted to businesses or um, some of them had been demolished. So th that particular um, part of the neighborhood is not included as part of the historic district today. So the name Oakwood Court actually comes from the name of the main road that ran through the center of the neighborhood. Today, that road is known as Amherst Avenue, um, but historically it was Oakwood Avenue, which is where we get Oakwood Court. The district has a number of styles and building forms that you can see uh, throughout. These include Colonial Revival and Tudor Revival style homes as well as um, bungalows and four squares that, as I mentioned, were um, built early on in the construction of this neighborhood. Um, so looking at bungalows and cottages, um, these were small compact forms. These uh, modest houses were one to one and a half stories and um, had little detailing, some of them more minimal traditional in style and, but others picked up on details from uh, other styles such as Tudor Revival or Craftsman. Um, these modest homes you'll see being built um, along Sims, Olive, and Holly uh, as some of the first house forms that were built in the neighborhood. Along with those uh, cottages and bungalows, you'll see four square houses. Um, within uh, Oakwood Court, these um, two-story box forms had little to no ornaments. They also are primarily clad in lap siding. And four square houses are, are known uh, for their prominent one-story front porches. These houses uh, you can see primarily along Holly and Olive Street, again, close to Epworth's children home. So then looking a bit more into the architectural styles in the core of the neighborhood, um, you'll see examples of Tudor Revival architecture as one of the common styles in the district. Um, some common features that you'll see are steeply pitched gables, um, lots of faux half timbering, uh, prominent chimneys, stone accents. One good example of this style is seen at the corner of Amherst and Eaton. This particular home is two stories. It has a brick first story and a faux half timbered second story. So it is a very unique example of this architecture uh, within the neighborhood. 
Another style of architecture that you'll find in the core of this neighborhood is a colonial revival style. This was a popular style in the early 20th century. And within the Oakwood Court District, these are going to be uh, brick two-story houses, um, often with multi-paned windows. They also have traditional detailing, which you'll find primarily around the door. So you'll have um, traditional pediments or door surrounds found on these colonial revival homes. They're also a notable for uh, symmetry within the facade. So thank you for joining me as I talked a little bit about the Oakwood Court Architectural Conservation District. If you have any questions, please email us at preservation at columbiasc.gov. Thanks.